Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another. So this week I wanted to try a new wine. Um, and this wine is called Bonterra, or the brand name is Bonterra. And it is a red wine. I think it's like a red blend. Um, they call it Young Red. But I wanted to try this one because it's made with organic grapes. And... Um, it sounded pretty good. It has like raspberry tones to it, watermelon tones to it, like very like fruity. So I just poured myself a glass and let's try it out. Hmm. I don't know. It's very like acidity, I would say, is my first impression about it. It's a little bit like way more bright than all the other reds I've been trying. Like a lot of the reds I've been trying are kind of dry, kind of like dark. <laughs> I don't know how to describe wines, but this one is very like fruity and bright. So very different, but honestly pretty good. I feel like I'm more into like the oaky um, kind of dry wines. I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring it out, but this one's pretty good. So I got it at Sprouts. I don't know if you guys have that near you, but um, you can probably find it at like a healthy grocery store because it is made with organic wines and I can't find organic wines everywhere. So I would look this up, but it's definitely worth a try. If you like bright, fruity flavored wines, you would love this. It also says to serve it lightly chilled, which um, I didn't do. So maybe that would change the taste, but... Um, I don't really like my reds cold. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I feel like I'm making this whole channel all about wine, but I do love a good glass of wine. Um, also, side note, please don't mind my hair. I'm having a rough hair kind of moment for the past like month because my scalp is not happy with the weather changing so quickly. But we are working with it, and... Um, yeah, tea tree is like my best friend right now. So yeah, anyway guys, I wanted to show you how I design um, a shop page and a cart page using WooCommerce and Divi. I wanted to create this because I was trying to find an easy, simple way to design your cart page um, using a Divi build from scratch template. And I had trouble finding just a very simple tutorial. So I wanted to make one to help you guys if you are using Divi, using WordPress, it's literally a simple short code that you just place and then you can design around it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys that. But I uh, also wanted to talk to you guys about drop shipping, um, what I've been learning about that, also the differences between Shopify and WooCommerce and pluses and pros and cons for each one of those. So we have a lot to go over. Um, it's probably going to be a quicker wine and design just because I wanted to make it a simple, easy to follow tutorial um, and just show you guys quickly because all the other videos I watched were just going on and on about things I really didn't need to know. So this one's to the point. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I want to do some more design ones, but I've been getting so many website projects um, and this is actually my full-time jobs website. So I'm giving you guys a little sneak peek little insider peek to what I've been working on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's hop right in. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys today how to basically create a cart page and like checkout page and like fully customize the design of it and everything using Divi. So this is also the project and business that me and my boss are building. Giving you guys a little sneak peek of it. Um, it's called the Entrepreneur Project, and we are so close to launching. We are going to launch hopefully February 2021. Um, but in the meantime, I do want to set up the cart to check out because I think we're going to be doing some pre orders and then we also have apparel. Um, so I want to show you guys how to make the custom cart because I kind of had some trouble with it at first, so I thought this might help you guys. Um, if you have Divi and WordPress and you're trying to make a store, like an online store. So basically, I am logged in to my Divi. So I'm going to just exit, show you guys from the very beginning how exactly I'm doing this. This might be a little bit of a quicker wine and design, 
but this is something I think is so helpful for a lot of people. So um, also I wanna touch on the main differences between WooCommerce versus Shopify. Um, both are great options. However, Shopify is its own separate like entity. So if you have already gone with WordPress, WooCommerce is just a plugin for WordPress. But Shopify is not only an e-commerce situation, I don't know the word for it, it's an e-commerce platform, but it's also a hosting platform and it's also uh, like a design platform. So it has like page builders built into it and you have to buy like templates and themes. So Shopify definitely becomes more expensive. However, it is extremely secure and um, the security on it is definitely reliable. Um, not saying that WooCommerce isn't reliable, but WordPress is more like more likely to be to have malware issues or hacking or whatever the security issues that you would face. But there are so many ways to prevent that with WordPress. Like you need to update your site constantly. You need to set up some sort of um, I like WP Server, which I should probably download onto the site, but WP Server is awesome. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, that one really helps secure or make sure there's no like hackers. It tells you if there is anything weird going on behind the scenes that you didn't see. So WP Server. So it's this one, server security, anti-spam, all that kind of stuff. So this one's really awesome and it's free. So I definitely recommend this. I'm gonna activate it actually. Um, that one's great to install and it actually sends you an email every week, I believe, letting you know what it's found or if there's any weird activity. Um, so I like that plugin, but yeah, to go back a little bit, the main difference between Shopify and WooCommerce is if you really wanna, if you're not like a developer or a designer or whatever, then Shopify might be for you just because it's really secure, easy to use. It's more expensive, but you can kind of like step back and um, not worry. But if you are tech savvy and you know how to do all this, then WooCommerce is definitely the way to go. And it's awesome. And um, I love it. I use it on, I use it for like all of my clients. I use it for myself. I think it's a great tool so i'm using it on this website as well i just downloaded the server app so we have that now um i'll just show you guys what it kind of looks like because you can set up like all these different settings to make sure that your site doesn't get like attacked or anything like that so but always make sure that you're like if you're managing websites then you should definitely be keeping track of this kind of stuff um, whether you have Shopify, WooCommerce, any of that kind of stuff. But anyway, going on a tangent, that's the main differences between the two. So WooCommerce is free, which is also a benefit. Um, also guys, like, don't mind my hair. I'm having some scalp problems because <laughs> it's so dry where I live. So I like sprayed my hair down with like tea tree oil. So don't mind, don't mind me looking like a little boy over here, but we're healing the scalp. So <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I'm also gonna update this while I'm here, but I am using Divi. Um, I just wanted to show you guys though that you can just literally, um, I'll have to fix that. But you can literally go into your plugins, search for WooCommerce and you will find that it is free so you just find it here and as you can see mine is active which is great so now i'm going to head on over to the actual plugin right here so if you go to woocommerce and highlight over it you'll see settings right here so you're going to want to go to your settings and then you're actually going to want to go to you're going to want to go to the advanced tab up here and you'll be able to set up your pages. So I select under here cart, um, but if you already designed a page, 
you simply just click whatever page you designed and what you named it. So I selected cart. Um, and then, yeah, you can set up all these different page settings. So then let's head on over to the cart page. And it is right here. It is election day and I'm just getting blown up. My phone has not stopped ringing. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Um, so now I'm gonna hit edit with Divi and you're gonna wanna select, let me see if it pops up, yeah. Build from scratch. So I always build my pages from scratch. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna select this and then I am going to put in text. So then you're gonna want to highlight all of this and then paste this code right here. Not that part. This code right here. This code will show the cart. So simple as that. Select that code. And there you go. Your cart is now in there. But that code, it's not easy to find. So I wanted to make this video and just show you guys how you do it. So that is the code. And then if you want to make this page look pretty and stuff, which I'm going to do right now, you literally can design it however you want. So I'm going to make a new section, put some text. Your cart. And then we can just kind of start designing it. So also, since we already are talking about this, I thought it would be kind of cool to tell you guys what I'm using for this business in terms of like where we're getting our apparel printed and um, that kind of stuff. That could probably be a video on its own, but I'll share it with you guys since we're talking about it anyway. Um, and then I'll probably put a contact form. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna keep the cart page kind of simple. And I can always change it later on. Okay, so then now that is built. Now I'm going to show you guys what the shop page looks like and how I was able to get all of this apparel. And I think that's one of the hardest things as business owners and like building a business. If you're very startup, it's like, how do you get the, the funds to like buy all the shirts before people even purchase them? Because that's a lot upfront and we might not all have that. So um, I'm going to just remove these from the cart. I found a company that does drop shipping. Um, and if you guys have not heard about drop shipping, then um, I'll explain to you. So basically, drop shipping is you don't have any inventory, you only make the product when someone buys it. Now, there's like companies that you can find online that do this for you. And I actually found this company that does this all for us. So Basically, just to show you guys kind of how I was able to input this. Um, so the company that I am using is called Custom Cat. I just did a basic Google search and found them and I was able to order some samples and just see what the clothing actually looks like and stuff. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I think that their quality is like just okay. It's not like amazing, amazing quality, but it definitely is nice. I think I just bought like the cheapest sweatshirts and stuff. Um, this is what the company looks like, Custom Cat. And you can basically set up your store and you can connect your 
WooCommerce to Custom Cut. So if you click on this, you'll see that my WooCommerce is connected and you simply just literally create the designs on here and then you can export them on here. Like all my artworks here, you export it on this platform and it automatically goes to your catalog or your shop page. So I am loving it so far. They're very quick. Um, that is the one thing to look out for drop shipping companies to make sure that the um, process of them making it and shipping it isn't like 20 days plus. Um, they ship within seven days when you purchase. So it's like basically like you were buying it if it was in stock and in inventory. So I've been loving that. I think it's a great, awesome tool. Now let's just test to make sure that the cart works. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign. It might make me choose a size. Yeah, so then you can also like put colors and all that. So I'm gonna choose large, add to cart. And view cart. And there you go. It's pretty simple. I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but pretty simple. Um, and so for this business, we are gonna be creating subscriptions. So basically, I need to put the subscription model on this page, but I'll show you guys what the subscription model will look like because um, that is something I'm also gonna have to set up within the shop page. So these are the two different subscriptions. You can buy $29.99 per month or a year up front. So with this one, you're gonna have to constantly charge them monthly and you wanna make sure you have a good system for that. Um, there's a few ways to go about it. I know that WooCommerce has subscription services as you can see here, they have subscription services. So it's basically a plugin. I believe you have to purchase it. Yes, so it's a yearly plugin. Um, but basically, it helps you set up a recurring payment system so that you can step back and you don't have to worry about it charging them monthly. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this one. I think that we are going to find a bookkeeping company that actually does it for us. Um, on their end. I know that like Stripe does that. Um, a lot of book bookkeeping companies will do recurring charges or recurring payments for you. Um, so we are looking into that, but this is an option if you do have WooCommerce. So but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of how you build the cart page on WooCommerce or on a WordPress Divi website. Um, it's pretty simple so yeah it kind of just does it for you you can update the price here all that kind of stuff but um I think that's about it guys I just wanted to show you how to set up the cart um, and if you wanted to set up coupons they're all under this WooCommerce tab you can just put coupons that kind of stuff so yeah I hope this helped any of you and I hope you enjoyed my hair is just not not the vibe today but you know what it's okay because we all have those days anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and i hope that it helped you um if you did like it i would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video